Welcome everyone to Rise of the Roman Count. This is a playthrough I've been so excited for. We are going to be playing as an Italian count in the Italy Kingdom and try to form the Western Roman Empire and eventually the entire Roman Empire. I've done a Let's Play before where I've played as the Byzantines and formed Rome successfully, but I've never done it from the Italian side. And I think it's going to be really neat to kind of re- birth the Roman Empire from the West and who we're going to be playing as is Count Alberico of Lombardia. He is of the family Milano. He is trusting, cynical, and ambitious. So the plan for this let's play is we're going to do a lot of role playing and kind of take it a little bit slower and really enjoy the stories that CK3 gives us. Uh, we have no player heirs starting off and we do have a king King Louis II, the younger of Italy. So we will hop into the game. Seems like I do have a daughter. This is my wife, Violante of Lombardia. She is a wife and countess. She is impatient, vengeful, and compassionate. <laughs> okay. So very loving, but you cross her, she'll do, she'll kill you. She's beautiful. Amazing starting trait so far for a wife. We have Thrifty Clerk. And our player heir right now is our daughter, Maria de Melano. She's beautiful as well, pensive and honest. Uh, we are going to want to educate our child, ourselves, or maybe our wife. Who's? Let's do it by skill level. I think her being our firstborn daughter, we are going to... Well, what are our traits? Trusting, cynical. Uh, he's cynical, though. Maybe we'll do our steward instead. Um, her traits. She's a good diplomat. Well, we are the best diplomat, so we are going to have her under our tutelage. And then we also have another daughter. And our second born daughter, we are going to educate from, or by our steward and knight, Domenico Tribono. And we'll, we'll have him start teaching her. We have a few activities to go from here. We have to choose our lifestyle. We're a steward, it seems. So we are going to go, I think, we are... Cynical, trusting, and ambitious. So I think we'll go domain focus. And we want to work down to... We, what do we have so far? We have professional workforce, so construction time's lower. We have lower construction costs. We collect taxes more efficiently. And we have defensive measures as well. Perfect. Um, levy reinforcement rate's pretty good. Development growth... We want to develop our county, our home county, a lot as well. Our current situation, we can create an accolade, and our accolade, and I think our first accolade will be Dominico. He will be our accolade, and there you go. He is the iron arm of the Roman count. And we'll station our men-at-arms. We have uh, some bowmen. We will put this in Milano itself. And then we also have some pikemen. And we'll sta station those in Como. Perfect. Uh, we have a decision available. Petition liege. I understand that. Alright, we can petition our liege. So we would travel to King Louis' court to deliver our petition. Um, we could choose a petition type. We could say, yes, let's, let's petition him for us to be on his council. We'll travel over there. Travel planning, got it. Fabricating claims, got it, got it, got it. And we're not employing a, employing a wet nurse. And I think that Agnes would be a great wet nurse. Perfect. And we are starting as obscure with only 40 uh, renown. So this is going to be great because over the course of this Let's Play, we'll build a family that is known for nothing. The Milano family 
into an, a name that's known throughout the world. Um, and I think we'll unpause here. Petition Liege is no longer available. Okay. We have a grand tournament. I don't know if we want to plan a grand tournament. Because the cost is too much. Uh, oh, wow. They've added university visit. So we could potentially get some awards here. We have feasts. Perfect. Pilgrimage. Uh, Pilgrimage and hunts. I think instead what we're going to do is do some construction within our lands. Um, we'll go to our holdings. I'm just checking here. Bardia. We could add, I think the first thing we're going to need is some troops if we're going to be a little bit aggressive. We do have tents here, which uh, increases our archer damage, which is perfect for stationing our archers there. Um, we could go with walls and towers, hunting grounds. I think hunting grounds is more appealing to me because of the tax of 0.2 per month and then also plus 50 levies. So we'll go with the hunting grounds over in Lombardia. It'll be known as a county for hunting. Um, what's The Liege has passed limited crown law. And with our daughter, let us start trying to take a look at a potential spouse for her and see if we can marry into a more powerful family. So, the county of... Where, let's also filter in... Let's do an Italian wedding. So, Latin heritage, uh, Italian. This would give us an alliance with... The county of Ferrara. And he's 42. I don't know if I want to do that to my 10-year-old daughter. Um, Matua is actually an interesting ally. We would marry, him off to, marry her off to a gluttonous, patient, and honest Martino. And I don't know if I'd want my daughter to be married to someone who's gluttonous, but... If we look at the Liege, Count Egelof of Mantua, that is his firstborn son. And they only have an army of 359. But I think this is a great alliance to slowly start to form those bonds and webs to gain our power within the Kingdom of Italy. So, we will... That's potentially an option. Now, we are ambitious, so we won't mind marrying off this daughter, the more I think about it, for a potential gain of power. You are unlanded, so you are not an appropriate option for the daughter as well. Maybe we go for... Mm, you know, I think this is our best option. Can we do a matrilineal? No. So maybe we sort by matrilineal. Oh, we got invited to my vassal. As an influential count, it is only fair that you have a voice on my council. In recognition of that fact, I hereby offer you the position of spy master of Italy. Wonderful. Um, where is the daughter again? We're going to do find a spouse or arrange a marriage. Matrilineal. Alliance power. No. Find spouse, matrilineal. Potential alliance, city, city. We might just have to marry her off and it not be matrilineal for the alliance at first. So we will do it with Martino. We'll send the proposal. And hopefully they accept. And he says he accepts the betrothal. Wonderful. My daughter Maria is betrothed now to Martino de Matua. Uh, the liege won a war with the emirate. Get this way. Pay homage to our king. 
What are the options? I don't know if we want to do that. But we, we will because of the prestige. It said the tooltip said it would give us prestige, so we'll see if that is true. Like I said at the start of this gameplay, I'm it's been a while since I've played, but I have formed the entirety of Rome at one point, but we will have there is gonna be a learning curve with all these patches, but it's fine, we'll get through that. Uh, we're traveling over to see our liege. We will start traveling. I suppose we must. A fresh start. All packed and proper, we have finally come to the point where we can start our journey from Lombardia to our des uh, destination at Turin. As we depart from the holding and our mounts start treading new ground, I am certain we will return, return soon and in one piece. Okay, 18 days of traveling. What is this? An activity. It's hosting a grand tournament. We gain 200 diplomacy lifestyle experience. You visit because we visited the uh, capital of, of the kingdom of Italy. To my vassal, I'm not fooled by your brash act. A pledge of homage from you would mean nothing to me. Interesting. So I think right now, local hero. As we traverse the grasslands, trudging through the grass, we encounter a modest wayward shrine, naively. Uh, Naively carved, it sports a cross at its head, and below, the weathered words. Here lies Saint Gaiacinta of Piedmont, blessed daughter of Chieri. Saint Giacanta of Piedmont, it seems a local spiritual, uh, spiritual figure, is being patronized in these parts. One not sanctioned by the Catholic clergy. So, we can say this is heritage, uh, heresy. And, or heterodoxy, what would that do? It gives us... 50 piety. This also would give us desecrated tomb. A non-Catholic. Oh, that's good. But because we're cynical, there's a nice ring to it. Uh, you gain patronize local saint. Okay. Yeah, we'll patronize the saint. Sure. And I also want to improve the actual holding of uh, uh, we got the hunting ground we also need to improve the city up here uh all right we made it home perfect como let us add this would give us 75 more levies 0.2 more gold um Maybe where lodges, guilds, I think what we do is we build the cattle pastures. Perfect. Now let's get into the actual intricate uh, part of the game and try to expand our territories. And I think our first place we want to look at, Navora is interesting. He is the Prince Bishop. He probably isn't a good target. That is our actual lieges territory. Cremonia. He's chast. We could expand towards Cremona or maybe Brescia. This is a simple count. He has far less troops than us. And I think he is ripe for the taking. So what we'll do is we'll go and try to get a claim on Brescia. So this is a gem in the rough. During one of our lessons in my daughter's uh, Maria's chambers, I noticed a collection of rocks neatly displayed on a shelf. One of the stones stands out in the collection. It's quite rough, but upon closer inspection, there is a deeply red, brilliant hue contained within. She notices my interest, picks it up, hands it over. You can have it, father. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Accusation of witchcraft. So... Who is this? 
This person is wandering around and they've been accused of witchcraft. Um, she's been practicing her witchcraft in her hut on the outskirts of the village. The villagers claim her evil work must be the cause of their bad weather and are calling for her execution. Mm. A witch, you say? I could use a new advisor. Oh, uh, that's interesting. I am cynical. The evidence is circumstantial. Release her. That's what I'm going to go with. And she's already dead. Okay, so we have our bishop going for a fabricate claim. I do want to increase development within Lombardia itself. And with our marshal, we have organized army. We're disrupting schemes. We could try to find secrets for our king. And that would really help us get a hook on him and maybe change our position a little bit more. We have one more hook. Golden obligations. You can use claim throne against your liege. Being that our liege is the king right now, I don't know if we want to, within the lifetime of our dear Alberico, go for the kingdom. I think his life is more so about establishing a duchy and really showing that his family is a prominent rising family within northern Italy. Um, I will form a friendship with her. Oh... Uh, what else? Domestic affairs, foreign affairs. I think this looks fine. And my wife is pregnant. Wonderful. And she's ill as well. And another daughter. Mm, Martina is perfect. We'll go with Martina. May you grow strong and wise. And we will educate her right away. We'll do um, our steward and knight. Who do we want to improve relations with? I think all of our council we are fine with at the moment. We might want to improve relations with our martial guy. Or actually, let's improve with King Louis II. Make sure that he knows that for right now, we're very loyal to the Empire. Um, what do we have here? Another purr. That's right. Uh, mediocrity. We, I'm going to go with centralization. I really want to increase the development within Lombardia. So that way this holding is extremely profitable for us. Uh, sway infiltrator. So we can say, take this gold. It's not worth it. We're not going to pay to be friends with our king. We are ambitious, but we're not foolish. Let's see, we could find a high German teacher, search for a physician. Um, our knights, let's take a look at our knights and see if we have talented fighters within our county, but we do not. We will invite some knights to join us. Point nine in the county of Como. We could add a tight knit I will do this I'll lose the stress I don't think we have any built up right now for the county of Como it might be worth building hill forts garrison no Well, with our, we have pikemen, so doing, I think, stables wouldn't be a good choice. 
uh, Warrior's Lodge is actually what we're going to do there. So we'll do a Warrior's Lodge within the county of Como. We'll just have to remember that for whenever we get 80 gold. Uh, let's take a look at our courtiers. And this is so nice that they've added all this. Uh, all the kingdom attributes, the courtiers. I've really enjoyed that they've done that. Ooh, so we're improving with our liege. He is fickle, greedy, and arrogant. And his queen is humble, diligent, and gregarious. Who are your children? I don't think there's any good plays that we can make with the children there. But we have to plan how we're going to rise outside of Lombardia. If we look at our duchy titles, that's the duchy of Lombardia. Okay, so we are having that claim being fabricated. It should be done in nine months. And once that's complete, we will forge a war against Brescia who is very low on levies and our king only has 3500 troops I think if we were to centralize our power within the Duchy of Lombardia we would be able to contest with an uprising later on as we gain support from other families um, very well, you know best. They're saying there's no secrets to be found there, sire. No secrets at all. So what if we look in Moderna instead? Very cool. Let's see. Advice, inventory. Ah, yes. What do we have here? Rough gemstone. We have, that gives us plus one learning and more prestige. We will equip that. And that is from our daughter as well. Levy leaves, okay. Intrigue, six months. I think what we would like to do at this point is, no, nope, we have 80, let's not visit yet. Uh, see it done so we will go negative we'll get the claim and I think once we get back up to like five gold I think it'll be time to wage war against Bishop of Bergamo uh, what's his name Bathari of Brescia Never doubtful, always pious. Oh, that was one thing I forgot to do, is set our prosperity through the spear. Okay. That's pretty cool. Um, no, let's not waste any more time trying to find secrets. We are improving development. Four years left on that. Uh, petition liege. No, I don't think we're going to petition our liege right now. Oh, no. King Louis II just removed me as his spy master. Interesting, King Louis II. I think now... You have undone yourself, sire. And we shall make you pay, for the family of Milano does not stand for this. Um, we Oh, we only have four living members, too. This is really neat, because we will grow with a four living member family to a great empire to one day. Um, Swain, getting personal. We are going to stop improving relations with the king. And we will make him regret that day. Abandon. 
Who within the Kingdom of Italy is a powerful ally to have? The Duchy of Friuli. We will improve. Oh my god, look at that man's drip. <laughs> that he looked pretty fresh, I'm not gonna lie. Let's uh I'll I'll do that between episodes. I, I didn't realize you could look that fresh. Um you have another lifestyle perk. Castle Levy, War Profiteer. I think we will go for Golden Obligations. And I want to make sure I did end up improving relations with them. Offer Hostage. Wow, that's interesting. I've never seen that. Uh, who is this? Another daughter. Okay, so now we are a family of daughters at this point, and I have not yet had a firstborn son. How old is my wife? She's 31. There's plenty of time left. I will educate my daughter, Nuncia, um, with... Who do I want... I'll do our wife. And let us cancel swing so we can sway this gentleman here, Undruk. And maybe we can form an alliance with Friuli and that will be the foundation of us taking the throne from the Carlings. Activity, invitation, Prince, Bishop, De, uh, Dudemiro's Hunt. Who is this, and where is your kingdom? You're over here in Novara. Um, yes, we'll join the bishop, <laughs> as bishops do, hunting. Uh, join. I hope it goes well. Making camp. So as we await the arrival of the rest of the guests, Prince Bishop Dudemiro has started on the preparations. His game check keepers check the grasslands each day for signs of quarry while building a camp closer to the hunting grounds. My bird grows restless, waiting, knowing it will be soon. It will soon be unleashed. Soon. Oh, this is really neat. They've added a new activity screen. The party is called to assemble as dawn breaks over the hunting grounds nestled in Novara's grasslands. With any luck, we'll find a flock of ducks, and our falcons will have a great sport. Uh, the beaters' teams are ready with their hounds, and a well-appointed spot has been selected. Let's get out there. My falcon takes a perch and keenly spies across the landscape. In a flash, the bird descends upon something and turns to a frenzy once it has reached its prey. It pecks and claws at something on the ground, though I can't see what. I hurry over to the frantic screeching falcon and it hawing not over a dead beast, but a small collection of coins and trinkets. The value doesn't seem to be too extravagant, and I'm not sure we'll have, uh, I'm not sure I would, wouldn't be able to find the original owner even if I wanted to. A fine find, my friend. Very good. 50 gold from our falcon. The party has stopped, distracted by an outcrop of rounded boulders atop a slope. Count Egoluf pushes a loose one. All watch raft as the rock tumbles down, gathering speed, reaching hill bottom with a satisfying thud. Say that this could be a chance to impress everybody. Um... Yeah, we'll continue. Uh, Prince Bishop Dudamito's uh, Game Master signals the party to hush. We have arrived at the release spot. There's a clear sight line to the wedge of brown ducks watering themselves in a pond up ahead. The beaters will soon be in position, ready to spook the game to flight. The party halts as we prepare to remove our birds' hoods and set them one by one to their spot. It's time. Hopefully we're successful. We have... Ooh, it went down. I watch excitedly as the falcon identifies a target 
and takes wing from its watch, soaring high into the air, and we don't get anything. Shame. I gained the trait Hunter. Nice. And we also get a trinket, the Stag Feather. Heeding the call to the wild is an adventure, and this outing delivered the good, the bad, and the bad in abundance. I gathered the disappointed party and exhausted hounds for the trip home. The duck indeed eluded us this time. Cool. Oh, we also got experience in Falconer. Very cool. Wow, they've added truly a, a lot of content since I've last played. Uh, we go and we did get that artifact. Maybe not. We'll see when we get home. Uh, we can declare war and we will do so. And thank God we can go inside again, but not for long for we are off to war with Brescia. Uh, my regency ended. Countess Violanti gained 150 prestige. That is cool. All right, sir. To war. Count of Brescia, declare war. All right, we'll raise all our armies. And we will go straight into Brescia. Says it even fight. We'll switch the commander last minute. Oh, the Duke of Frioli passed away. To my vassal, as an influential count. Ah, oh, so now you want me to be back on the council. Uh, sure, I'll take it as the marshal. Hey, you gotta choose, man. You can't be wishy-washy. Uh, acting on my behalf. I can gain 150 prestige. I think I will do the prestige. I think we should be able to take this before they come back. We're not employing a court physician. Heresy, Insultress, and Cornwall. Petty King Dun uh, Dumnarth of Cornwall has announced to the world that he and his vassals have converted to insul uh, insularism. Okay, so... Uh, I don't get it, but uh, I guess it makes you happy. We'll do... Dude, are you kidding me? King Louis? You sit me down, you're like, hey, I want you to be my spy guy. Then you're like, hey, you know what? No, you don't got, you don't got it. And then you bring me back and you fire me again. How dare he? Appoint uh, a court physician. Our knight is... A <laughs> freaking baller of a physician. Maria comes of age. Uh, hold on. We have a battle going, but it's fine. Uh, I will appoint my knight as the court physician. Don't know how wise that is, because if he gets hurt or screwed, but that's fine. We'll appoint him. Fort level is too high. This war should go fine. And then we'll add Brescia to our list of domains. Or holdings within our domain. Create another accolade. We could record, record, uh, recruit this gentleman. He is an interesting knight to have. He has a lot of prowess. Don't have 45 gold. We're almost done here. We'll speed it up. Maybe they'll come around for one more swing of the sword. 
I don't think so. Perfect. And we will enforce our demands. Exchange hostages. Oh, that's new too. Awesome, now Brescia is a part of our domain. We'll disband our military. Uh, you became culture head of the Cisalpine culture. Whoa. Okay. Um, the Cisalpine culture, we have Republican legacy, mountain homes, and maritime mercantilism. Oh. So trade port line of buildings can be constructed one era early. And then the Republican legacy gives us building construction costs is lower, holding construction costs are lower, taxes or uh, par parochial uh, contributions are higher, and the levies higher. Minor landholder vassal opinions lower. Okay. Mountain homes. So we have better development growth in the mountains. And less danger in the mountains as well. Very cool. We'll get rid of all these tooltips. We'll also take a look at our family and see how it's going. So our daughter has officially married off to Martino. God, nice Italian stash guy. Um, is he landed? She, he's unlanded. We can't invite him to court. Now, our other daughter. We do need to start thinking about a spouse for Adriana. Um, let's go by Alliance Power. The County of Genoa. How many troops do you have? 709. That is actually a good alliance. We will do this. Uh, would you accept matrilineal? No. That's fine. And immediately what I want to do with our bishop is fabricate a claim within Cremona. We can definitely take that holding pretty easily. So we will fabricate a claim there. Take 23 months. As far as King Louis goes, your most powerful vassal is Friuli. Uh, this man has not aged very well. Um, who is your primary heir? You. You are chast as well. Interesting. Uh, victories. We did get a perk as well. It is my domain. War Profiteer. Uh, we will do War Profiteer. Well, awesome. I think this is a great place to end episode one of Rise of the Roman Count. I would love feedback, guys, on what you guys think about the series, things I could do to improve, whether you guys like me to read events or just kind of read the effects of the events. Um, I know I'm not the best reader of all time. I try my best. And, uh, yeah, it's been fun. I'm really looking forward to this Let's Play. And it has begun the rise of the Roman Count. Thank you all so much for tuning in. See you all next time.